Uh, Coke Twig Smith. We're at Sunset Beach for the Van Surfing Contest. I'm born here and raised here. Went to Punahou, graduated in 66. Were you a surfer back then? Oh, I sure was. Uh, tell me about the very, very first board you ever owned. It was seven foot two balsa and called the toothpick. Used to surf inside Cavella Bay with it as a little kid. Did you make it yourself? No, my brother-in-law did. So it was homemade boards? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what was your favorite surf break back then? Oh, combination of Ala Moana and uh, Haleiwa, I'd say, for North Shore. But Ala Moana and Honolulu. And we did a lot of body surfing at Point Panic back in those days. When you finally went to a boat board, what did you have? Uh, my brother-in-law, who was Roger Pfeffer, known as Roger Pepper back then, he wrote a column for the newspaper, brought back an 8 foot 8 custom Dave Sweet from California for me back in probably 62. That was the only other board I ever had. I, I presume that you never came back to the desperately. Never did. No, got into snow and skiing and uh, Stuck with that. Uh, Fred Van Dyke, Peter Cole, uh, a couple other guys there at Punahou. They were all teachers at Punahou, and uh, they were the best indicator of big waves because when the waves were big, they didn't show up to teach. What do you think of these new surfing events now where surfing's really commercialized? Last for red. It's really commercialized, there's no doubt about it. It's uh, certainly not like it was for sure, but. Uh, Everything seems to go that way. It's a little, uh, I don't really enjoy the commercialization of it, but it's fun to watch the kids on the waves. Well, you say you don't enjoy the White, commercialization, you're in third. but at the same time, you said you were commercialized. Yellow, you're in fourth. Yellow, you're in fourth. Sure, we had a ski area, but we, we were at the cheapest ski area, and we let anybody do anything they wanted to on the lifts and on the trails, so uh, Blue, your last score we barely made three. it. I think our best years were the years Blue, it didn't snow. We didn't have to open, pay money. Where, 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 where was your ski store? In a little town called Barnard, Vermont. The name of the area was Sonnenberg, which means Sunny Mountain, and it faced the south, which is the wrong way for a ski area, because on sunny days the snow would all melt and the skiing would go lousy. But uh, it was fun for kids, nice small area, and uh, we did it for about 20-something years. And uh, any of your children surf? No, they're snowboarders from the time they could walk. They got on those sticks in the snow and uh, still doing it. The oldest ones... Uh, 40 something, and the youngest is just shy of 40, and they're uh, snowboarders, born and bred. Oh, aloha! <laughs>